Hey there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto in Japan. This here is a Toyota Alphard hybrid vehicle with four wheel drive. Now this one was bought from auction here in Japan for export to Canada. It's a 2.4 liter engine together with the hybrid Synergy drive that Toyota is so famous for. I'm not sure exactly of the fuel economy in here, but as far as larger minivans go, it's probably gonna be one of the better ones. The engine is very similar to the original 2.4 that you get in the regular version of the Alphard. And then the Alphard is also available with a uh, three liter V6 as well. So this one has 110,000 kilometers and was bought, uh, uh, well, just last week. Came into us, we inspect it, and then we send it out to whatever country that you want to send it to. So the coolant here is kind of fun. One coolant reservoir feeds both the radiator and the, the cooling of the hybrid Synergy Drive motor. It's just a four cylinder twin cam, coil on plug, and is Atkinson cycle. If you don't know what that is, check it out. It's quite interesting. The Atkinson cycle um, leaves the valves open a little longer to give you better fuel efficiency at the cost of power. We just had the engine go off, but then um, mix it together. Is it coming back on? It's a hybrid, so it's going to turn the engine off when it feels like we don't need the engine on. I'll just turn that off. Anyways, it, um, with a hybrid model, the electric motor makes up for where the power is lost in the Atkinson cycle. So it gives you kind of the best of uh, both worlds there. So here's the inspection sheet. This was from the auction house and I'll quickly translate this for you. It's a 2004 Alpha Hybrid Vehicle G edition. It's a four wheel drive. Now, um, I'm not 100% sure how the four wheel drive system works. I'll give you a quick peek underneath here and you can check for lack of rust. You can see a differential there with their drive shafts. It says E-Power four wheel drive on it. So I think it's like electric and no actual engine power comes to the rear, but I'm not 100% sure on how that works. But that would absolutely make sense because then you don't need the weight of a drive shaft going all the way back. So 110,327 kilometers, automatic transmission, alloy wheels, power steering, power windows, and airbag. Purchased from user, it's a original pearl white. If you look at the body, it's, it's quite clean. There are a couple of marks here and there. They say a scratch here, but I really couldn't see anything that was worth mentioning. It just looks like a really clean and good condition vehicle uh, with nice condition paint. You can probably see there that it's glossy and pearlescent. The report says interior is dirty, but I found it to be fairly clean. Not fairly clean, quite clean indeed. It says underside has some surface rust. Let's give you another quick look at it. It looks to be quite clean to me, as you can see. And yep, no drive shaft. And uh, the rear panel is dented. Now the rear panel dented, also uh, W2 means a repainted rear bumper on there. What happens if you knock into something here? There's metal underneath here, right there, that can be dented, so that's what it is. Looks like the exhaust is nice and clean. There's a spare tire underneath here. And uh, this is the second time that we have exported an Alford Hybrid. This is the first video that's on our channel for one. So it's quite interesting. Indeed, this is uh, the type of vehicle I would be interested in. Sadly, I'm not allowed to have one as tall as this because my parking garage is an, an elevator <laughs> and needs to be a, a maximum 155 centimeters. So the Alford Hybrid has some slight differences. Headlights and taillights are different which gives it a little bit of a different look. Inside the vehicle has uh, power outlets, AC power outlets for um, 1500 watts, which is fantastic. Usually you would get like, uh, oh, let me do the walk around here. Usually you would get like 300 or 500 or 700 watts max, but 1500 means you can run some pretty powerful things using the AC output. And I believe there are three plugins throughout the vehicle for different areas. So it's a little bit dark here. So these tail lights are different for the hybrid as well. I don't know why it's so dark. This camera needs needs to have like verbal commands like, hey, lighten up, will ya? So great packaging in this, lots of room inside. These Alphards came slightly after the El Grand became a very popular vehicle here in Japan, which was made by Nissan. And it's a very similar style of vehicle with a in-your-face design. Very, very popular amongst families here in Japan. And um, often, to be honest, in dirtier condition than this one is. 
uh, bodies, well, you know, if you've had a family, you'll probably know it's hard to keep your, your body or your interior of a minivan in good working order. And that goes the same in Japan. Okay, so open this up. And so it's a three row, total of, um, I believe six seats in this one. You can see it has the uh, captain's chairs there. Oh, there is a center here, so it'd be seven. Okay, so in the back here, and the lace seat covers, a very Japanese thing, very cool. And if you don't like them, you can take them off, but I think it's a, it's a good conversation piece because most people outside of Japan would think that is very odd. Okay, so there's, an, there's not an extra cover on the back section here, but the carpet is in good condition. Some sort of uh, aftermarket wiring is sticking out here. There's uh, an outlet there. Also, this one here is for an antenna if you want to plug one in. Still has the original protection plastic here. So some people would take that out, but it's common in Japan to leave that in. There's full curtains. You can see curtains on the back here. And then curtains, curtains. And there's actually oddly half a curtain rack on either side there. I don't understand why you would want to do that. Because the point of having the curtains there is so that you could sleep in the back if you wanted and then nobody could see you, but somebody could still peek through that center section there. Kind of weird. So inside of this one smells like cigarettes, which is probably the only bad part about it. I'll go into, I guess, the here next. And it's power sliding doors on both sides. Okay, let's see if the camera lightens up for us here. In real life, it looks a lot lighter, although it is tinted windows here in the back, so it's not uh, really that easy to see inside. Okay, so the seats slide forward and back. This row does, and the row behind. There's also a cool little slide out foot rest. Now this is super handy for having, uh, when you have kids that have shorter legs or are in a car seat, then they can actually get into their car seat with this. And I don't know what the purpose of this is, but this one here can go up and then it springs back into place, but it can go up and then it tilts the whole thing forward like that. Now, I guess there's a way to get comfortable and a reason that the engineers thought it'd be good to have that, but I don't know what it is that back in place. Same thing goes over here. There's this. And there's the same plastic covering over it. That can be taken off. You can see there's bubbles in it. And so that's your cup holders. And then if you wanted to get into the rear, let's see, then you would put that down to give you a walkway through there. Power outlet here. And input for video and audio. Kind of weird, the days before HDMI. Rear AC, so that's dual zone for front and rear. And it's, it's just a nice interior. It feels good and there's lots of space. So very, very easy to walk through here because the roof is up nice and tall. Oh, nice. They actually made a four-seater version of this. I'm not sure how popular it is because I haven't checked at auctions, but four-seater in an Alfred is crazy because one, two, three, four. I believe they had like crazy recliner chairs or something. Okay, let's go to the front now. Let's give you a quick look at what that looks like. I find that the, you know, in hybrids, they always have these fancy gauges with like Hey, look, there's another one. That's the next generation. Fancy gauges with like, this is how much battery you're using. This is how much engine you're using. Here's your range and all that. I find this one to be a little bit underwhelming, to be honest. It just looks like a regular gauge set. Okay, so power folding mirrors. Those work as they should. Power sliding doors on both sides. You can turn the uh, 100 volt AC outlets on or off. You also have lane, lane departure warning. Nowadays is very common. I find it pretty annoying, but you can turn it on and off if you want. Uh, but in 2004, that would have been kind of a big deal, I guess. This is the original Navi unit. AC controls here. There's some uh, paint it has worn off on these three, as well as the temperatures a little bit. Also, this doesn't click like it should. 
and they left the plastic on over the push button so and the no smoking sign so you can peel that off if you want front section has this that's a toll collection box let's put some manuals in here it's a decent amount of room in that another outlet here place for your cups airbags What's this? Two? All right. Wow. ETC and ETC. I don't know why you would want two. Maybe one of them's broken. Crazy. Okay, switch that off. Still has the original plastic on here. It's kind of cool. And floor mats say Alphard Hybrid. And the original plastic is still on here. Cool. So for a fuel efficient minivan, you know, hybrid minivans didn't become a thing until like 2010s in North America. And still, I'm not sure if you could get anything that's even comparable to this because the Toyota Sienna that's available in Canada and the USA is a different beast altogether. This, in my opinion, is a much better packaged vehicle and will probably get better fuel efficiency because I think it is on the smaller side compared to the Sienna. Okay, so there you have it. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can check out the focus on my camera. That's weird. You can check out our website. There's a link to that in the description. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.